Hello, cruising croppers, and welcome to Find Your Journey. Today we have our special guest, Brandy Balcom, and she is a creative partner with Kiwi Lane. Um, she has hosted a couple of cruises with us before, and she has two upcoming cruises that we want to talk about today. So her closest cruise is actually this March, March 13th. You can sail with her on a six night cruise on the Allura of the Seas. And that is sailing to Roatan, Costa Maya, and Cozumel. Plus there's two crafting days at sea. And on the Allure of the Seas, um, you, there is no lack of things to do on board the ship. Um, between the ultimate abyss, the water slides, um, flow rider, surf simulator, rock climbing, ice skating, casino, spa, Broadway shows, um, you will have such a great time. And then you get to scrapbook in addition to that. So it just sounds like a glorious vacation. And then in 2023, Brandy is going to Alaska and it's a seven night Alaska cruise on their Norwegian Jewel in July. And this is such a great itinerary. You're gonna sail northbound from Vancouver to Seward, Alaska. Um, you get to stop in Ketchikan, Juneau and Skagway. Plus, you get to see an abundance of beautiful scenery as you sail the Inside Passage, you go to Glacier Bay National Park, and you get Hubbard Glacier. So it's very rare that you would get all of those glacier viewing opportunities on one itinerary. So that makes this itinerary extra special. And then if you want to spend a little extra time touring northern Alaska, you have the option to add on a cruise tour. So we're offering the Fairbanks Denali Express Tour. It is um, three nights, four days, and for just, just over $1,200 per person, you can get that added on as well. It's definitely worth every dollar um, to see everything that Alaska has to offer. So, Brandy, tell us a little bit about yourself and your Kiwi Lane business. Hello, everybody. Um, I have been selling Kiwi Lane for five years now. Well, it'll be five years, February 10th, so <laughs> I'm about a month away from five years. Um, I've been scrapbooking for more than 20 years, and uh, my husband says I'm addicted to it. Um, but I'm a high school teacher and have a senior this year in high school, and I love to travel. So. Awesome. Awesome. So tell us about how you like to run your cruises um, as far as class time versus crop time. Okay. I tell all of my um, participants, I always want to say students, I tell them <laughs> that it's their vacation. Um, if they want to, you know, stay in there and scrapbook the whole time they can, the room is open. Um, or if they want to, um, you know, go out and shop. I think of the last cruise, we had a lady who's like, they're having a $10 purse sale and I just can't miss it, but I'm going <laughs> to miss your class. I'm like, that's okay. Um, so, you know, she went and did that and then she come back later. And then there's some who typically it's the new cruisers who have never cruised before because everything is new and bright and shiny to them. And so they want to go see all of this and not miss anything. And so then they're very seldom in there. Um, but the, the more experienced cruisers or the more diehard scrapbookers tend to be in there more, but we have a good time. It's very laid back. I tell them ahead of time, what time the actual classes are. Um, and then they have time, their husbands, their spouses, their sisters, brothers, aunts, uncles, whoever comes with them. Um, they have time to spend with them as well. We have some who um, come with another lady that scrapbooks or whatever, but like my husband doesn't scrapbook, obviously. And he wants me to go to shows with him and do all of that. So you're able to do everything on board and still do the scrapbooking. Or in the case of my husband not being down there, then I'm doing a lot more scrapbooking and less of the shows and stuff because I've seen so many, so. <laughs> awesome. So if they miss a class, is it easy to make that up later? Yeah, if they can just take yes. the kit? Yes, awesome. they come in. Um, that lady just wanted the kit and then some will actually come in and I help them with it later. Um, I forgot what somebody was doing something. And she just came over to my table and I went over with, I mean, some people can look right at the sample and figure out what they need to do, but if they need extra help, I don't mind. I'm used to that as a teacher, a high school teacher, so. <laughs> Those skills come in handy when teaching crafting too. <clears throat> yes, <laughs> patience. 
Lots yes. of patience. <laughs> so well, do you like to leave the crop room open the entire time for just open crop? Yes, it is always open um, because some people are night owls, some people are morning owls, some people like, like I said uh, before, if my husband's not with me, I'm in there more scrapbooking. If he's not with me, then I'm out more. So it's open to interpretation of, if, like I tell them, it's your vacation, you can scrapbook when you want, so. Perfect, awesome. So um, I know you're one of our most traveled cruise and crop hosts. So um, I know you've been to a lot of these ports of call. Do you have any favorite stops on your Caribbean cruise? Um, for the one in March, I've been to both. Um, of course, both of them being Mexico. I like them both. I like anything tropical. So, I mean, who doesn't? But um, I do have some favorite ones, though, on the Alaska one. Okay. Um, because, um, as you know, but the others might not know, is that it's actually, you mentioned earlier, it's Norwegian, where we usually, most cruising crops are on um, Royal Caribbean. But you, you touch base on the reason why I chose that one is that it does have um, the Glacier Bay National Park and only certain cruises, cruise ships, certain cruise ships from certain companies are allowed in Glacier Bay National Park. And so I've done this cruise before um, to where we get Glacier Bay National Park and it is so wonderful cruising, standing out on your balcony or up top if you don't have a balcony and seeing it's like one glacier after another and you look to the other side and there's glaciers <laughs> yeah. over there. I mean, it's phenomenal. And then you have, um, well, I mean, Hubbard Glacier. Um, I have awesome videos of it calving and uh, big chunks of ice falling off is what calving is um, when we were there. And then I have um, lots of different fun things. Like we always fish when we're in catch can. Mm -hmm. um, so we go fishing and then they'll fix it and send it home. To, we tell them what day we're coming home and then they send it home. So we have, you know, halibut or whatever we're catching, red snapper we've caught um, to send home. So, but that's because my dad's a big fisherman. Lots <laughs> of ladies might not be that, but um, you're getting everything with that. And then what's even better with this one is that we have the uh, chance to add on that post cruise extension and I have not done that. So that's the only thing out of all the places we're going that I haven't, I've seen parts of it because we did a cruise um, further north and stuff. So I've seen parts of it, but I've not done that land extension on the end. Mm. So that'll be new for me. But glacier wise, you're right. There's a ton of glaciers and it's, if you've never been to Alaska, I tell people there's like three types of cruises or technically mm. four. You have European, you have the Caribbean, and you have Alaska, and then you kind of have the Northeast right here. But um, Alaska is unlike anything else. Um, <laughs> I am not a nature person. I do not like being hot, but there I'm a nature person. I mean, because it's, it's phenomenal. <laughs> I've been twice. This will be my third time to Alaska. So. Yeah. It never gets old. That is one itinerary. If you have the yeah. chance to do it more than once, you're not going to regret it. It's beautiful. Yeah. Well, and you see different things. Both times we went, um, we did well watching. Uh, we tend to do that in Juneau. And we, we have a guy there and he's like, like my pictures, people tell me my pictures should be a National Geographic. Like I said, should submit them of my whales pictures and the videos of them. Uh, you know, it's, it's unbelievable if they haven't been to Alaska, so. Definitely good. And it's a great opportunity for those who like to plan further out. I mean, it's a whole year and a half away, but it's not too early to book. It's definitely not too early to add on that post cruise extension because those do sell out. Um, booking it early allows you to get a great cabin selection and you can pay, pay regularly on it if you want to really help break up the costs. Um, our group rates on the Alaska cruise are less right now than what NCL is selling it for. So, you know, take advantage of that, get booked, grab one of these group rate cabins, and then we can add on the land extension if you want. So that's just an extra little chunk you can add on for those extra days in Northern Alaska. Um, if you book an ocean view or above, you're going to get 
four perks with that. So you could choose to have your beverage package included, shore excursion credit, Wi-Fi credits, dining package. So there's lots of good options um, for you on that Alaska cruise. And then if you can't wait till 2023 and you're ready to get away with Brandy, then um, join her on the Allure of the Seas. Prices start around $6.50 per person plus tax. And um, you can just cruise here in just two short months. So that's really nice. And ocean view is very cheap too. Yes. The ocean view or, you know, of course you can go balcony, but yeah. good prices on it. Mm -hmm. And I think the neighborhood balconies were even a little less. So you can, can choose an inside balcony and, you know, just have that extra space in the view and for even less money. So, so Brandy, why don't you show us? have only ever done. Okay. Well, I'll show you those. Let me get, get, I just thought of something. Okay. If most people have done cruising crops only as cruises, um, and they've never done Norwegian, people ask me all the time, cause I've cruised all your big cruise lines before, um, mm -hmm. starting the, the cruising crops and Norwegian is on the same par as Royal Caribbean. Every mm -hmm. cruise line does something better than the other and does something worse than the others. <laughs> so to me, it's all about the itinerary. And that's why I went with Norwegian because they're just as good as Royal Caribbean. Mm -hmm. So I know like one of my friends who's been on another cruising crop and she's talking about that. She's like, but we always do Royal Caribbean. I'm like, it's okay. I promise. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Norwegian is just as good. Yeah. You can get to see and it's not about, you know, the ship as much as seeing that itinerary. But I do have some here. You ask if I had some for classes and I couldn't look from previous classes and I couldn't put my hands on it, but I did want to show you some of these that, um, because several of the people watching this might have been on our virtual cruising crop with us. And I was a teacher there as well. And with that one, we're limited to the one uh, template set that you get in that kit for the virtual cruising crop because you don't have access to mine and I have all of those. So on the cruises, you have access to more templates so we can do more detailed layouts. And you also have access to me and it's a whole lot easier to have a person right there that can help you and show yes. you instead of trying to do it virtual. And we've had a great time through virtual, but I don't want people to judge me based off virtual when we're <laughs> limited to those templates. So sure. um, this was the last cruise and crop was over New Year's. Yep. Um, 2019 into 2020 so right before COVID hit and it was a Christmas one so we did some uh, Christmas pages and I couldn't find we did some pages that weren't and then we did three Christmas pages and I can't find the other two but this is one of them so that let me put it in the center so that you can see it so that when we do things you're gonna have obviously the circle template but you can see the trees there and the uh, present in the center and it's behind it's got a green ornament there so this one is a little bit more detailed than the others but some of these others will actually get even more detailed than that so like here's this one so oh, when you see so this cute. one you can see it has far more detail to it and all of this is cut out with uh kiwi lane templates so the pumpkins the trees, all of that is cut out. Um, even the banner here, yeah, that's stickers, but the banner is cut out um, with Kiwi Lane templates. Yeah. This one is Kiwi Lane. That last one was Kiwi Lane paper as well. And so is this one. Um, so you can see the Kiwi Lane paper. Um, and then this one, you can see do more layering and I'm not limited in it like a cruising crop class would be because I can use any of my templates. And then on board, not only do I have stuff like for you to buy Kiwi Lane, but I have all my templates and they're able to use those for free. That's nice. Um, and people ask, do you only do one page layouts? No. So I grabbed a two page layout and this is from my Iceland trip this summer. So I'll show you two and then put it up closer so they can see there's one and then there's two um, so that you can see uh, more detail. This is one of my favorites. This is from Australia actually. Um, and this is Kiwi Lane paper and from a kit too, but you can see detail wise, we're able to do a whole lot more when we're not limited to templates. So this gives you an idea of style and what kind of classes you can get. I think I have one more, yeah. And then this one is also um, Australia. So you can see mm -hmm. from that and it's also Kiwi Lane paper. But you yes. can see the different details and the things that are cut out here. It's so fun. 
That's awesome. That's all I have to show. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Brandy. And um, we thanks for having me. Appreciate your time, and we look forward to your upcoming cruises. And if anybody has any questions, feel free to post those in the comments, and we will get back with you. I will also be posting links to both of her cruises. And you can click on those for more information and to register right on our website. And of course, you're always welcome to call. So we um, wish you a happy day and happy crafting. Bye.